is a little mini car from 1969 I think it is 1970 Corgi Jr little rare car and this is in show condition apparently it's never been played with oh, poor car but there are collectors of these and a friend of mine wants to put this on eBay but there's a few on eBay battered ones and I want it to stand out could we help sure we can help Well, here we go. We're going to put the toy car onto the glass hob. Put the camera with the 200mm lens over here and take a quick exposure to see what's happening. Right, we're going to use a light. We're just going to use a little flashlight, LED flashlight torch and see what that looks like. Ah, oh, that's much better. We've actually um, gone down on the EV, two and a half stops. Uh, that's good. That's looking nice. Um, we'll put it into Photoshop and we'll get rid of these hob marks these rings from the uh the top of the oven there and we'll square that up and that's it and we'll do a little bit of lighting and a bit of dodging and burning i'm going quite quickly and get the levels that looks good i think we need to uh do something with the lighting let's put some flare in back there that's it not too much get rid of those horrible bits at the foreground square it up We've got the reflection in the black glass there and that's gonna look all right bobby does that isn't it on ebay well hang on a minute it is but it's just not that exciting look at the car it's fantastic it's a 1970s pristine condition mini so i'm gonna get a bit of blue tack and i'm gonna go white background and i'm gonna stick it so it's pointing up and i can get a wider lens a little bit closer in I think this is going to be much more fun and going to get noticed on YouTube. I'm going to get my torch light in, my little LED. I'm going to get in nice and close and get a little snap of that. That's just right. There you go. I haven't done any white balance because there's no need. I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to go around with the dodge tool. Look all the way around the edge. Just lighten the edge off there so I can get a nice clean cut out. First of all, oh, let's do some color balancing. Let's uh, put some blue in there so, uh, so we've not that hot, got that horrible yellow cast everywhere now let's let's uh work on that front that then that's a little bit underexposed isn't it let's see if we can just lighten that up just a touch well let's take the color out first that yellow that's it that's better put some blue in there balance it up to a nice sort of chrome finish so it's not looking like gold anymore uh now we need to cut this thing out i'm going to use the pen tool and I'm going to clip all around because you can do curves with the pen tool, which you can't do with the lasso tool. So just carefully going to go all the way around. Bear with me, everyone. This is a cool car. Um, this is not been played with, which is a bit of a shame, but it is in pristine condition way back from 1970. It is in sh you know show condition. If you're a collector, it doesn't have a scratch on it. The paintwork is, is absolutely pristine. So uh, we want it to stand out on eBay. So I'm going to get a background of a road, nice colorful one. And I'm gonna put my car that I've cut out into the road, put it on a little angle look so it's flying through the air, chitty chitty bang bang style. <laughs> so let's go round it just at the back there and put a bit of mo uh, feather, uh, just feather there. You know how we like to feather and put a bit of motion blur in, there we go. Get the motion blur going in the right direction and now it looks as though the car is moving and uh, put a bit more radius on that motion blur now uh, we'll smart sharpen it a little bit uh, that front end's a bit dark let's just cut it out there and uh, feather it of course we'll always feather it and then just take the levels up that's it so our chrome is coming up Hey, it's a good fun picture this isn't it uh, I hope it does the job uh, and I hope it finds a good home let's get the dodge tool and just start working around there getting those little front ends where the headlights would be lightened up uh, we'll cut it out there and we'll do a bit of feathering there and take the blues up so it's really gone chrome. So we have got rid of that color cast now, that's better. 
I'm just getting the uh, burning tool now and I'm just going to burn in around the uh, the back end of the car where it's a little bit lighter look like the nearer to the torch that's it all the way around there ba -de -ba -de -ba -de -ba. and get that nice and neatened up I'm using the eraser tool there to neaten the edges around the wheel and and across the top right now then let's square that up get it nice and close in car flying along you can almost hear it can't you so it's a fun cartoony kind of picture because we want it to be eye-catching i'm just going to put another motion blur after i've flattened the image so that it blurs on the road as well that's better before i flatten the image it only blurred on the car so let's put some type on it's a 70s picture so let's choose a 70s typeface ah that's a good one there let's just transform do a free transform on that typeface and these cars were called whiz wheels so we'll call it whiz wheels and just bring that up and put it into position now i want to sort of drop shadow but i'm going to create just the one i want by duplicating the layer there and changing the color on the layer i'll sample the car color and i'll drop the layers around so it's underneath the white there we go move the white over there we go whiz wheels that looks good doesn't it now we need the name of the car don't we so uh we'll put that down in a different 70s time ah that's a good one summer of 76 i think that was called was it uh 1300 uh Mini Cooper S is the model of this little toy. Uh, famous car. That won lots of rallies in its day. Look at that Mini Cooper S. Uh, what do I also want to put on? Uh, I think actually I also want to put on that this is actually a picture of the car because people might think it's just um, a, you know, a, a random car that we've got off the internet. But this is actually the car you saw us photograph it. So let's put actual car pictured down here maybe no that doesn't look right does it i think it needs to go into that gap uh and, oh i've pressed the wrong button now let's get rid of that uh it does need to go over on that right hand side probably a little bit smaller that's better a bit smaller there and just move it over their actual car pictured and something underneath i'm gonna make the whiz wheels bigger yeah that's i'm gonna have to just redo that duplicate the layer again bring the white layer in there we go move it to i think that's about the right size isn't it duplicate the layer make a white layer and move the white over and up slightly so we've got that nice little drop shadow in the color palette that we're using Perfect. Uh, Grey maybe? No, it doesn't. No, it needs to be white, doesn't it? The only problem is I'm losing that whiz wheels a little bit um, with those cloud backgrounds. So what I'll do is I'll go onto the background and I'll make the sky a little bit darker look underneath the whiz wheels and uh, it'll show up a bit better. Uh, I think also I better put on just underneath the... the uh, there we go the, the year it was made 1970 it's a corgi junior there we go that's nice i think that'd be good fun and i think when we put that on ebay considering the little pictures people take on their phones they've got to compete with this we're gonna stand out everybody's gonna notice this little weeds wheels car <laughs> i hope you enjoyed that little bit of fun not too serious this week a little bit of light-hearted photography give it a go at home Hope you enjoyed the joy of photography this week. <laughs>